For the last two years, hotels haven't been able to have guests. So how could we attract the new guest? In the future, the most important thing that will make our hotel to survive is to push our hotel into the lives of as many people as we can. Changing our perspective on the image of the hotel to be not just a place for relaxedly sleeping, but also a place where people can sit back and work for their daily lives is the key. So how? So I will link to represent one big idea, which is working space and hotel subscription, like you pay monthly for Netflix. So why won't you pay monthly for a quality facilities of a hotel for work, which may be including a hotel office, thin dome package bar, or meals. We may create a new zone in our hotel, which may a co-working space or private working space, which have all the stage of art provided. Change how customer view your hotel from think of your hotel first when they're looking for a right place for vacation, but to think of your hotel first when they're looking for a right place to live their life. And this is me, Nook Yung, an hotel management student from the Sitani College. Hotel will not be just a hotel anymore. Thank you. Imagine, hotel being a tourist attraction. People getting into queues, paying to visit your hotel, not just about the accommodation you have, but about your tourist attraction. COVID-19. <laughs> Our unwanted friend has stayed with us for too long. We seek freedom, but due to the ongoing COVID situation, everyone is scared. Guests are scared to leave their house, but there are some that are reckless. They want to explore the country. We should support both then. Swimming pool for kids, bar for adults, Restaurant for couples and a theater room for all. We got it all. Let's now make the guests believe that a small hotel or a big hotel like us can make a change, can also be a tourist attraction. In my opinion, if that everything is in, uh, within the hotel, why would I want to leave? Risking my life, going to somewhere that might not be safe. Okay, it's a tourist attraction, but it's probably not safe with all the COVID situation going on around here. Let the guests stay in the hotel. Let's have it all. Let's have a new and safe tourist attraction within the hotel. Free, freedom, and free will. I'm Punuit Poshat Gel, and I'm the future of the hospitality business. Thank you. To and I can be such a boring experience sometimes, which I can say from my own experience, and we don't have much to choose from. So what about luxury train ride? We have a wonderful nature, culture, and food. So why can't we combine these things together and turn them into a luxurious train experience? We, have, we don't have a luxury train ride in Thailand yet, at least not the one that runs in country specifically. So why don't we make it happen? The guests can enjoy their service, radishes, facility, and world-class service that are provided for them as they watch the beautiful landscape of Thailand along the ride with no hurry and worry about your survival. Make the journey toward your destination memorable. Make it not just a ride, but an experience of your life. My name is Titi Apoy Kusu, a student who wants to make it happen. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Today, I would like to present you my idea of tourism service innovation that I believe is the path to revive the hospitality and tourism industry. The idea is to adapt the healthy and safety measures to work against COVID-19 in the hotel and tourism establishment to guide get through an enjoyable vacation stay. COVID won't go easily, so we have to accept it's at a normal. Building trust is a key, and actually safety to our guests and employees is a must. Creating innovative products like tour design for small blazer group can be a solution. As well as sharing a safety measures relating to the trip through innovative communication. 
this will add a value to guests who like to combine their business with the leisure during a traveling and quarantine. So I'm confident that trust and service innovation are the way to revive Thailand tourism industry. Thank you. Thank you so much. Inspirations, such a short word but big meaning. We all need inspiration to build things happen. Me, yes. That inspiration to grow in this hospitality is from my family background. I grew up in the restaurant, which is owned by my parents. I had so much fun through seeing them preparing food, cooking, serving customers. And at the end, that our customers are happy. And it's because everyone in my family were busy with work, so I mostly had to help myself cook my own food, and I like cooking ever since. I always feel gratified when I see my customers say that food and services from my small restaurant are nice. I love when I can talk with them like we are friends, and I'm so glad when I see them come back to our restaurant again and again. So that motivate and inspire me to learn more and developing myself, not only on cuisine, but services. And here I am today, a hospitality from a student in hospitality school where I can learn to work in the place I dream about. I'm Tidara Sankotara, a culinary art student from the Sitani College. Thank you. Beautiful beach, clear water with the little creature is a nice picture for our holiday, isn't it? We probably know whether it's Hua Hin, Pattaya, or Samui are known for their own charm. Keeping the coast clean by picking up the trash is one of the things I've done in order to maintain that aesthetic of them. However, I just found out not so long ago that it wasn't enough. In the future, providing a zero waste service isn't going to be the trend anymore. In contrast, it is the necessity. People will have focus on it more and more. Or sometimes they may just come up with these kind of question like, are these companies ethical? So sustainability, the mindful use of our precious resource and environment, which drive Thai tourism all along is what it matters. I'm Pran, who is not yet a professional who deep in it in this field, but still, I'm willing to take an action to support this attitude. And remember, not just me, we all can fix it. Time's ticking, thank you. During the time when tourists pour uninterruptedly, the tourist business and hospitality are intensively serviced. These are have caused many environmental problems both garbage that clogged the sewers, discharge of wastewater into the sea. And this was the reason why I decided to study for a master's degree in hospitality. I don't want to be just uh, an employee in this industry. And in order to combine what I have been learning in hospitality and environmental management, I believe that we can create environmentally conscious culture in every step of our work, whether marketing, front of house service, restaurant, or even in the back of the house. We can work together to reduce the use of resources or make the most of our available resources. So the results that will come when we start taking it seriously must be worth it. And of course, getting started can be difficult. I want everyone in this industry starting to set a role model in you, pushing and working together to come up with a way to create a service business that goes hands in hand with environmental stewardship. Make it as a culture, not just rules anymore. And I would like to leave it to everyone here, including relevance concern, to help create new form of tourism environmental considerations to allow nature and tourism continue together with its sustainability and equality. 
take it as your own responsibility and the future is in our hands. Thank you. If talking Thailand tourism problem, the problem is not about the number of visitors, but the quality of the destination. Such as hygiene issue, the poor customer should be in taxis, and most importantly, hotels that are not environment friendly. So let me propose some solution. First, we should the problem experienced by tourists. This is also important to know that suggestions and preferences of for the tourist improvement. Why don't we have agency that will collect this information? This information will help us to improve the tourist destination. And finally, let's create awareness among the local about preserving our culture and tourist destination. I mean, my name is Nai from the Sitani College, and I hope to see Thailand become become quality tourist destination. Thank you. Bang bang! Have you ever experienced discrimination or inequality in society? I'm Kawin Sasak Montri, and this is my story. I have just recently came back from working abroad an exclusive city club in Boston with a highly passionate team with high hospitality spirits. In spite of their high devotions, everybody has had some sort of experience which derived from discrimination, including myself. From my perspective, this problem directly affects passion. And as somebody in the hospitality industry, passion is one of the crucial drives that pushes me. And I believe many newcomers and veterans are also on the same page as I am. Wondering, how many people do you think we can attract if people are treated the way they should be? Referring to the Cambridge Dictionary, hospitality is kindness and friendliness, especially towards guests. But we shouldn't only apply that just to guests. Last but not least, if we don't change the, the way we treat people, how can we expect people to treat us? Thank you. now facing with the COVID situation that completely changed our daily life. I believe that sustainability is playing an important role in our hotel in Thailand. Let's say Koh Tao is the most beautiful island that exclusively a nice natural place to spend your holidays. So I would say that ecotourism is the best adaptation that we can keep in our generations nowadays. Therefore, more you have a good quality of life, more you become stronger. And imagine that one day, sustainable development goals become the main point that we have to focus on. Obviously, we will make a lot of profits on that. And our tourism in Thailand will become the most wonderful country in the future. I am Sutida Longna, the Sitani College student and the president of Student Council. Thank you.